the only reason I went to Washington be to become the Surgeon General when Bill Clinton asked me is really because I want, he convinced me that I could do something about it. I tell everybody, I didn't go to Washington to get a job. I had a job. <laughs> I went to Washington to do the job. And so th that's what I, that was what I wanted to do. The public health model and the political model is obviously very different. You know, in the public health model, we believe in identifying the problem, go out and, you know, really look at what, what we need to do. When I saw so many young, bright, black women becoming victims of teenage pregnancy, ending up poor, ignorant, and enslaved for the rest of their lives, I walked around mad every day. It was important that I began to talk about human sexuality. And I never really thought much about it one way or the other, you know, I was being criticized, I was being picketed every time I walked out the door, but I didn't even think about that. I felt, well, if this was something easy, if this was something that we, that, that could have been done, we would have already done it. Promoting responsible sexual behavior is included among the priorities of this, what the Surgeon General is supposed to be about. And we are supposed to really be about keeping people healthy. I was asked a question about masturbation by a psychologist that was in the audience. He may have been setting me up, I don't know, but you know, people couldn't set me up because I answered anything. <laughs> One of the things I always did was answer the question, whether it was right, wrong, or I should have you know, done that or not. Well, you know, there were so many microphones in front of me when I was talking, well, and that, but do you know that not one uh, a media person or anyone said anything about it, how it got in the paper, the media person that went with me and I got him on the plane and got him into the UN and all to have lunch was the one who wrote, wrote the article and said that I was going to be trouble for the Democrats because of that I would be, I was open and honest about anything that was asked of me. Well, I didn't mind having that as a, well then of course, he said for an example, her remark about masturbation. And of course, one of the things you have to know, masturbation has never gotten anybody pregnant, <laughs> never caused anybody to have a disease, won't make hair grow on your hands, you won't go blind. You won't go crazy. And as I always say, you know you're having sex with somebody you love. So. Our political model is to react on the basis of what a few powerful political leaders, if you will, the politicians, Push. Our politicians didn't know but one A word, and that A word was abortion. I tried to teach him that no, no woman had ever needed an abortion that was not already pregnant, and that I was about preventing pregnancy. If you prevent unintended pregnancy, you'll never have an abortion or never need an abortion. We all support abstinence. Everybody I know, every teacher I know, every preacher I know. But that's something that we must educate our children so they can make that decision to be abstinent. And for our politicians to walk around talking about condoms will break, we all agree, they will break. But they're 94 plus percent effective. And the vows of abstinence break far more easily than does latex condoms. So you know that I wasn't gonna last long in Washington. In fact, when I went, uh, went to, the, uh, to be the health director, my uh, deputy said he thought that I would last about six weeks. Well, I lasted six years. Well, when I went to Washington, I think everybody thought I would probably not last but a month, and well, I lasted a little longer than that, but not much longer than that. We know what to do. We know how to do it. It's time for us to get it done.
What's right for San Francisco may not be right for Little Rock, Arkansas, but it will be right for your community. And you have to have some of what I call determined boldness. You have to walk, get up, walk out sometimes and just do it because it's the right thing to do. Not to know is bad. Not to want to know is worse. Not to hope is unthinkable. But not to care is absolutely unforgivable. So we can't afford to continue to be non-caring as we've been.